For most students in the UK, you've got about a week to go before the exam season really begins. In this video, I'd just like to go through a few simple things that you can do to help you prepare for the next few weeks. So for the first time in three years, the exams will not be cancelled, which is brilliant because it gives you a real chance to show what you're capable of. Now, there will be times when you might feel a bit anxious and you might feel a bit stressed, and that is completely normal because you know that you're going to this exam hall and you're going to be facing that unknown. But there are so many people out there wanting you to do well. You've got your parents, you've got your teachers. I mean, definitely your teachers, because if you do badly, it reflects badly on your teachers. But you've also got people at school like the exams officer and the invigilators who are going to do whatever they can to make sure that your exams run smoothly. As part of your final preparation before your exams, you need to make sure that you have a revision timetable that you can stick to and also be quite flexible because sometimes you might not be able to do everything that you initially set out. So make sure that you do know when your exams are coming up and where you've got to go for each one, as well as, of course, things like having enough equipment. So do you need a new battery for your calculator? Have you got enough pens in case one of those runs out? So that's just some of the basics. And as you're thinking about your revision timetable, make sure that you set yourself something realistic. You're not going to be doing 12 or 14 hours of revision every day because you'll run yourself into the ground. And the other thing, uh, in your own revision timetable, because you know when you work well and a good place that you can work in, the other thing is to make sure that you do have plenty of planned breaks. And this doesn't mean that you finish your revision and then spend two hours just scrolling through TikTok. It means having a chance to maybe get out in the fresh air, to do some exercise, to see your friends in a social manner, and what's really important and often neglected by many people is having enough time to sleep. It's going to be quite a long period of exams. It's not, it doesn't all just happen over a couple of days. It happens over several weeks. And you need to make sure that you do have quality time to rest and recuperate. And that's going to help your brain actually process all of this information you're taking in. And that's ultimately going to lead to better performance in your exams. So make sure that you have your revision timetable and you've scheduled in enough time to make sure that you can sleep and rest as well as actually do the work that you need to be doing. The other thing that uh, many students find is once you've done your first exam, actually the whole exam period is actually okay. And often uh, when I've spoken to year 11 or year 13 students in the middle of the exam period, they're actually doing quite well. They've got a focused task, they're working towards it, they know what they've got coming up over the next week. And once they've had a bit of success in some of their earlier exams, the later ones seem a lot less stressful. So although you'll have the nerves for the first one, once you've got it out of the way, the rest of it should be pretty plain sailing. Don't forget, of course, if you do want to uh, spend a bit more time revising and actually going across things that you maybe don't understand, I do have some websites. Uh, I mean, it says my t-shirt here. I've got physics online. And if you go there, there's then links to either GCSE or A-level physics online. I've got, um, I don't even know how many videos. I've got loads of videos that cover the entire course. And they're things that you can use whenever you want to access um, the kind of content that I've made. So this is explaining how to do physics problems and explaining the underlying physics. Don't forget, of course, if you do get stuck on something, do try and contact your teachers. A lot of you might have uh, may maybe ways to message them through the school email system or Google, cl Google Classroom or something like that, as well as the fact that you might be able to go and see them in person. Often, when you had a lesson timetabled and now everybody's on exam study leave, your teachers will be available to help you one-to-one -one go through things that you're not particularly confident with. And sometimes it's really frustrating as a teacher when students need help and they don't come and ask you. So don't forget that you should have the ability, if there's something that you really are stuck with, to go and ask your teachers. So finally, try to make sure that you do spend enough time revising and also enough time resting, recuperating, and that's going to ultimately lead on to better performance in your exams. I really wish you the best of luck. And if you'd like to find any other videos, uh, then have a look around on my YouTube channel. You see I've got ones about how to approach six markers, uh, ways you can actually find multiple choice questions, as well as a huge amount of stuff which is specific to GCSE and A-level physics. But yeah, good luck this summer. Hope it all goes well.